This is Google Apps Updates Roundup number 107. In this episode, I will show you 38 new features in 13 different Google Apps. So make sure your Google Apps are up to date and let me show you what's new. Let's start the episode by talking about YouTube and here I'm gonna show you three new changes. The first change is the new tag that appears at the top left corner of Shorts to let you know the most recent uploads. The second change is related to the connected cameras feature available on the Pixel 9 models that allows you to use your older Pixel phones or your GoPro as a secondary camera and shoot your live streams from different angles. What's new here is the ability to use the same exact feature in creating shorts on the YouTube app. So as you see here under the short tab, I have the connected cameras bubble that allows you to switch between devices. The third and last change is the new dubbed tag that you might see under some videos while scrolling in your home feed to let you know if there are different audio tracks available for this video in different languages. Now let's talk about YouTube music and here I'm gonna show you two new changes. The first change is a new mix called archive mix that I started to see very recently and I also received a notification in my notifications shade saying your archive mix is here, rediscover your forgotten favorites. The second change is under the artist page. So for example, when I search for any artist and open it, you will notice here that the top songs is now a carousel and instead of only showing the first four top songs like before, but now you have a carousel that you can scroll through, you have a play all button or a more button that takes you to the full list of songs. Before jumping to the next app, if you like any of the wallpapers you see in this video or any of my previous videos, they are now available on the Wallpapers by In-Depth Tech Reviews app that you will find its Google Play Store download link in the description. And recently I added these 24 new wallpapers to the collection so you can enjoy them on your phone. And now let's get back to Google Apps. Now let's talk about Google Photos and here I'm gonna show you six new changes. The first change is related to the widgets and now you will see real photos from your gallery in the widgets preview. The second change is related to the video editor and now you will see a brand new tab at the very end of the carousel called presets which includes some features over here. I already talked about this feature a very long time ago, but then it's gone and now it's back again in the latest version of Google Photos. It gives you some features like basic cut, which will automatically remove the unwanted parts of the video. And then you have slow motion, which will allow you to convert any video into a slow motion. And here you can adjust the effect duration. And here is how it looks. So let's hit the play button. So now my video is in slow motion. And also I have here the zoom option. And this one will automatically zoom during the video to give you this nice zoom effect. And you can make it longer or shorter as well. And finally, we have something called track, which will track whatever you have in the frame. And let's see how it looks. So as you see, it will automatically track the subject without you doing anything. The third change is the material you support in the video and photo editors. You will notice here that the buttons and the sliders are now using the same accent color I have over here. And when I change it to something else, let's say the default one, and then get back to Google Photos, you will notice here that the sliders and everything is now in blue color. Sometimes it's buggy as you see here, but when you refresh the editor and go back again, you will see the change taking place properly. And let's take a look now. So now everything is in blue instead of brown. Change number four is the new create a memory button in the memories carousel. Tapping on it will take you to the same highlight video interface that you can access by tapping the plus button and then highlight video over here. So it doesn't add any extra functionality, but it gives you a quicker access. Change number five, when you go to your photos settings and then backup, scroll all the way down, you will find a new option here called undo backup for this device. The description says delete all backed up photos and videos from this device in Google Photos without deleting anything from your device. And the last change is related to the moments feature previously known as memories. The most recent memory has its unique design now and it will show you a big cover photo on top and the rest of the photos are in equally sized squares. But after a while, when you save this memory or when you watch this memory and then go back again to the same location, it will get the same exact design as anything else. And when I change the layout, as you see, it doesn't get back to the same one I showed you. 
but it only happens once when the memory is first created. Now let's talk about Google Messages and here I'm gonna show you four new changes. The first change is the updated progress bar for voice messages and I got this feature while chatting with one of my friends and you will see here the two designs side by side instead of having a flat progress bar now it shows the waveform. Moving to the gallery option, it got multiple changes. The first one is the new bouncy animation when you swipe up or down. As you see here, it bounces a lot more than before. Not only this, but you will see a banner here at the top saying messages will only have access to photos you select that you can dismiss from here. Plus we got two new tabs at the top, one for photos and one for collections. And you can scroll between them like this but for some reason it dismisses the card and from here you can select the photos and here's what happens when you do so you will get a bubble at the bottom with the count of selected photos the done button to attach the photos and you can cancel your selection by tapping on the x and in the same screen when you rotate the phone in landscape mode it will hide the photo selector and show you this bubble saying rotate device to access gallery and it appears like this and finally when you tap on the ellipses inside the conversation it will dismiss the keyboard and when you dismiss the card it will bring it back now let's talk about google chrome and here i'm going to show you three new changes the most exciting change here is the transparent navigation bar which is something we've been waiting for for so long but it works in a very interesting way first let me show you here when i start scrolling it will change its color based on the background so as you see here when the background is light it will turn into black and when i scroll down it will turn again into white so it becomes visible all the time not only this but when you open something and then look at the bottom you will still see this white bar at the bottom but once you start scrolling the white bar will slowly go away and give you the same edge to edge experience we've been asking for for a very long time. The second change is under the settings and then Google password manager and then settings again. Now you have the option to delete all data from your Google password manager if you need to. And the last change is related to the widgets. You will notice here that the Chrome shortcuts and Dino widgets have a slightly different previews. They have a border around the widget and the background color matches the background color of the widget speaker but once you put them on the home screen they look exactly the same now let's talk about google maps that got four new changes the first change is related to the directions overview card so for example let's say you want to see the directions of this place now you will see the eta and the route information on the same line to save space with the distance showing underneath and the time on the left in a bigger font and when you expand the card you will see quick access to some options like avoid tolls and avoid highways that were previously showing only under the trip options button but now you have a quick access to toggle these options on or off and this is how it works another feature added to google maps once you arrive to the destination you will see this brand new card that gives you some quick shortcuts and useful information in this case i have the restart button to re-navigate to the same place one more time or i can start a walk navigation save the parking location right away and also a quick access to the location page so i can check the ratings or any other information i need i also spotted some new features in the locations overview card the first one is the ability to react to photos right away from the carousel without the need to open it and all you need to do is to tap and hold and then slide your finger like this but previously this option was only available when you open the photo and then tap and hold on the heart icon but now you get quick access to the same feature the second change when you scroll down to check the popular times you will notice here that the graph has thicker bars when compared to the previous design and when you search for other places like restaurants for example and scroll down to the price per person card when you expand you will see more information that i've never seen before it will show you different layers for the pricing and the voting on each one and if you want to add the price yourself you can tap on this card to start adding the info next keep notes and here i'm going to show you three new changes the first change is the ability to create audio notes when you tap on the plus button you will see a new option called audio when you tap on it it will automatically start the recording and transcribe your words on the fly and once you stop talking 
it will load and create the audio note for you and it will also attach the audio the file moment, to the note and when you go to the list you will see a play button over here to let you know that this is an audio note and later down the road if you want to get rid of the audio file you can simply tap on the trash button the second change is under the app settings now we have a new toggle called note creation it says here create text notes by default you can always long press to create other note types so for example when i turn on the toggle now when i tap on the plus button it defaults to the text notes but if i want to get the other options i can tap and hold and lastly the quick capture widget got a new design and here is how it looks you will get different options with the plus button having a pill shaped design unlike the other options that have rounded rectangles so let me show you how it looks on the home screen as you see you can make it bigger to include all the options here you can create a text note then we have the option to create a checklist an audio note drawing and also using the camera and when you resize it you will see new designs as well so for example when i make it the smallest size this one is much thicker than the previous design and also the flower design got some tweaks it looks slightly different than before now let's talk about gemini and here i'm going to show you five new changes the first change is the slightly bigger and the brighter gemini icon when compared to the previous version the second change is the availability of the camera and the screen sharing features of gemini live to free users if you own a pixel 9 including the pixel 9a or one of the s25 models so for example when i switch to my free account over here and then go to live i still have access to the feature because i'm using the pixel 9 pro xl but if you don't own one of these models and have the gemini advanced subscription you can use this feature on any android device without any restrictions now let's talk about the new models added to gemini and we got two of them the first one is called deep research with 2.5 pro but this one is not available for free users when i go to the models i have the normal version of deep research and we also got a new one called personalization which will help based on your search history the first thing you will notice here after the switch that i'm getting a banner here at the bottom that explains how it works this experimental gemini model uses your search history to give your personalized responses but at any time you can disconnect from your history if you don't want to give Gemini access to this information and by tapping on this hyperlink you will get an overlay card to disconnect if you want but I tested the feature and it works so let me show you a quick demo what's my search history, your search history from the provided data so as you see it can get access to my search history and I can ask whatever I want now let's talk about Gmail and here I'm going to show you three new changes the first change is the new location for the Gemini button previously the profile menu was located over here and the Gemini button was between the search bar and the profile menu but now the profile menu is part of the search container and the Gemini button is now on the far right the second change is the updated attach menu now you get much more options and each one has its own icon instead of having one option called attach file like before but now we have classifications so you can choose between photos or the camera and then we have google files and finally google drive and lastly i started to see these new reply reminders in my messages list so it says here received one day ago reply and it has a different color to stand out now let's talk about the google app and here i'm going to show you two new changes both features are related to google lens and circle to search starting with google lens when you give it a photo with text it will automatically show you a floating translate button tapping on it will automatically show you the overlay menus so you can select the languages and when it comes to circle to search we finally got the transparent navigation bar so let me show you how it looks so let's highlight something on the screen you will notice here that when i scroll the home bar is floating over the card instead of showing a white bar at the bottom which is the same thing that we've seen in google chrome next the files app and here i'm going to show you two new changes the first change is in the main page once you open it you will immediately see your storage bar showing at the top and when you tap on it it will take you to the cleanup page so you can start freeing some space and the second change is under the quick share card when you tap on it now you got a new pill shaped button 
that will allow you to select the files you want to send not only to receive like before now let's talk about the apps that only got one new change and i will start with google contacts now when you open a contact and check the video option when you tap and hold on it now you can initiate a video call in third party apps in this case i have telegram and whatsapp and when you select one of these options and later open the contact you will see the most recent option or the default option has a floating glyph icon on top of the video button tapping on it will immediately initiate a video call inside this app moving to gboard when you go to the app settings and then go to voice typing you will notice here that the assistant voice typing is now called advanced features and it says use advanced voice commands to edit text add emojis and more so it seems like google is trying to remove any google assistant naming from the apps because it's already discontinued and this is one of the things we started to see so that's pretty much it for today these are all the new features i wanted to show you in google apps please reach me out on social media if you spotted any new feature to include in my future episodes but for now thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video